Hi, my name is Nikki Lamb from the Neil Squire Society, and this presentation is on how to make a sound decision. This presentation will advance by itself. All you need to do is observe and listen. I will read and explain all the information as we go along. Why do we need this material? Why are we talking about decision making? Because employers need people who can make decisions. And why is decision making so hard? And sometimes this can be very, very difficult. Because almost any decision involves some conflicts or dissatisfaction. Meaning, somebody can be unhappy with the outcome of your decision. And that can cause conflict. Also, it's very difficult to pick one solution where the positive outcome can outweigh possible losses. So that's a real weighing of positives versus negatives. And sometimes if that's really close, that's really difficult to make that choice or decision. When you make a decision, you are responsible and accountable for that decision and have to accept the consequences. That is very tough. This third point is one of the very toughest parts of making a decision. Because whatever happens, the outcome of the decision you're responsible for. And taking that responsibility be, and by making a decision can sometimes feel really uncomfortable. So why should we make decisions? Why do we put ourselves through this? Because making your own decisions and accepting the consequences is the only way to stay in control of your time, your success, and your life. It's sort of like driving a car. When you're behind the wheel, you get to choose what streets or roads you take. You get to choose whether you're turning left or right. For the most part, you get to choose what time you're going to arrive. When you're in the passenger seat, you don't have those controls. You don't have the responsibility to drive safely, but you don't have control over where you're going and what time you get there and the route you take. We each deserve to have that control over our lives. So how do we make a sound decision? There are six steps to making a sound decision. Let me introduce you to the D-E-C-I-D-E -E process of decision making. The decide process of decision making. First of all, D, define the problem. We can't solve a problem until we understand it and identify it. Try to be as specific as possible and focus on solving the problem rather than the cause. So for the purpose of this PowerPoint, I'm just going to throw a problem out there. And it, it, this may be a problem that you're all experiencing. You're in the employability program right now and you can't decide what you want to do after. Do you want to further your education? Do you want to work? What do you want to do? It, you've got so many questions. Do you want to volunteer? What do you want to do? Questions, questions, questions. So let's focus now. Let's start to define the problem. And say we come to the point where, well, the problem really is, do I want to get more schooling? Do I want to further my education? Or do I want to work? So we've defined it. We've taken all the other things out of the problem and defined it. The next thing we need to do is evaluate possible solutions. Brainstorm. Brainstorming is one of the greatest ways to come up with answers. And even if those answers, when you brainstorm, if they seem outrageous, don't disqualify them. Record everything. Sometimes the answers come from what actually seems most outrageous. So for the purpose of our example for this PowerPoint, 
let's say we brainstorm all of the things that we may want to take at school that we may want to further our education in we'll write down maybe we want to be an admin assistant maybe we want to be a nurse maybe we want to be a doctor maybe we want to be an engineer maybe we want to go to a technical school and learn a trade maybe we want to program computers maybe we want to work at neil squire maybe all of those different things and then let's take the other side and develop all of the brainstorming things we can around work what's in the paper today what's on the job websites close to me what kinds of things are available for me to work write everything down continue with that process until you run out of ideas and you've got pages or what lists and lists of things that you may want to do the more the better and now you get to choose choose a solution that makes sense to you. A really good way to do this is to create a pro-con table. And this is where you list all of the positive things on one side, all of the pros on one side of a piece of paper, and all of the cons, all of the not so good things on another side, on the other side of the paper. And compare the outcome versus potential losses. So which side has more things on the list, the pros or the cons? And this is going to help you choose a solution that makes sense to you. Now you've chosen the solution. Identify the solution. Close your eyes for a few moments and visualize the solution. So for the sake of our um, uh, problem that we're discussing in this PowerPoint, say you decided to be a web page designer. So I'm going to picture myself, close your eyes, picture yourself sitting at the computer designing web pages. Imagine it in as much detail as you possibly can. And then does that seem the best fit? Now it may not. If that doesn't feel right for you, then you go back up to the evaluate, the brainstorming stage. Look at that whole list of things you brainstormed, choose something else, and go to this stage again, identify, and visualize yourself doing that. Do this as often as you need to do. And you can do this for any problem. If it's a problem with, with your spouse or an argument or something, visualize yourself having the discussion with your spouse with your spouse. Visual, visualize yourself explaining. Visualize whatever you have identified as the solution. And D, develop a plan. Record all the steps that will be needed to follow through with the solution you have chosen. So for the sake of our problem that we're working with, what we will need to do now is write down, okay, where am I going to find a school? where they teach web, web page development. Uh, do I have the money? Where will I find the money? Do I need transportation? Do I need to move? All of the different steps that you need to do to follow through with the solution you have chosen. And then lastly, this is after you have put the solution into effect. This is after you have done what you decided to do. You need to evaluate the outcome of your decision. What worked? What didn't? Why or why not? What could you do differently next time? And really importantly, what did you learn about yourself? As we go through life, every decision and every experience will teach us something about ourselves if we take a step back and reflect. So take that step, reflect, what did you learn about yourself from this decision? And lastly, I would like to leave you with the quote, nothing is more difficult and therefore more precious than to be able to decide. And that's a quote from Napoleon Bonaparte. This concludes the PowerPoint presentation on how to make a sound decision. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your assigned facilitator.